Hi guys and welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to do Sagittarius. So we are just going to start pulling some cards, you guys. These have been around a half an hour long. So I hope um, this helps you. If it doesn't, um, check out your other placements, you guys. Check out which houses are being really activated for you right now in your astrology. Definitely check out your sun, moon, ascendant. And otherwise, you know, if it, if it resonates, it resonates. Not all of the message may resonate, but there may be parts of it that do. Um, leave the other parts for the people there for if that is your um, reading. Let's see. Let's get an overall energy here, Sagittarius. What do we got? We got the world. There is a cycle here. Ending, beginnings, um, end of a cycle here. The world. Also a lot being learned. A lot of maybe having been learned or getting ready to start a whole new learning process. It says wholeness, completion, attainment of wisdom and success. Learned a lot, stepped into a lot, and now we have some completion here. There's a completion to a cycle here, you guys. Um, the world, this also could be a, whenever I get the world. Also, it means it's a big, it's going to be a kind of a big message. It could be like a collective message for more than just Sagittarius. But, um, oh, why isn't this going in? Yeah. Okay, there we go. The world. So there could be a filling here. Um overall that we're going to be talking about some kind of cycle ending or beginning um or both you know when one ends another begins so let's go ahead and get some tarot let's see here let's start here Whoops. right away wow okay right away these two cards came out it's determination and judgment um this is the queen of fire and judgment this is being called to Okay, so the queen, the queen of wands is very passionate, very fiery, very um, determined, heads, headstrong. I'm doing this. Um, it takes, you know, she's courageous. She's passionate. Uh, of course, all the queens can represent um, a, a mother or a feminine energy that you are either embodying or dealing with. Um, there's also can be she can be hot tempered it can be a decision to stay calm cool and collected which is really hard when you're a queen of fire and also this is Sagittarius I almost forgot who I was reading for Sagittarius is a fire sign this is the feminine fire energy um so there could be a feeling here of being called to be more um strong more passionate more courageous Maybe less hot-headed or less hot-tempered. Um, um, maybe calm yourself down. We'll get more on this. But this has been, um, it's your call. Like there's something here. Um, you have to make a decision here with judgment. Um, to go after something. Maybe it's how we do it. We got the chariot. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is strong energy, guys. This is moving forward. Chariot energy in the middle. Um, wow. This is getting all on board, uh, seeing things from a higher perspective, wanting a victory here, wanting a win, wanting to come out the other side, um, on the other side of this energy. So yeah, you're definitely being called to move forward with something here. Um, there is with the chariot, you know, there's always, right, like in this one, there's like the wild zebra and like the tame horse, right? kind of two different energies coming together to move forward in a um, a way that it that ends in success for you okay oh wow this is a really strong reading you guys we also got the ace of pentacles this could and who moving forward here you know first you got to make a call about this queen of fire energy whether this is you or somebody you're dealing with but you got to make a call about how you're going to approach this moving forward, there may be a need to find some balance here between um, what you're passionate about and like how you move forward with that. Make a decision like what you truly, truly want. Determination. There's a determination here that needs to be acknowledged in moving forward. And then once I maybe getting your spirit on board, your head on board and moving forward, um, there's this need to be grounded and centered. But yet there's this need to have like this passion um, kind of wild desire to also it's like bringing like our animal nature and our like tamed nature to together to move forward getting them to work together um 
not fighting ourselves on something here, on moving forward with something to begin something new. Um, this goes really nice with the world card because this is a beginning um, as something else is ending. You can see the dandelion in this hands are the seeds are flying off. They're getting ready to plant something new. I feel like right now um, there's something new that could be getting ready to be planted in your life. Some new seeds being planted in your life. Um, you can see this chariot is moving forward in like a very um, determined it's very a determined energy and it's very like um, future future seeing if that makes sense like doing something like further for your future um, it's not just about like right what's right in front of you it's about the further out like the long term I am feeling like a long term um, goal or and there's just this there's these roots coming out of this dandelion there's so much coming out from this card there's these roots and it's like knowing that like where you come from and also like allowing some of those seeds to be planted for your future that it says origin on the bottom it's like um like a new foundation or a new like re-establishing like a new beginning uh having a new beginning for yourself on the bottom the full or no excuse me this is the nine of earth um reverse so there could be a feeling here of just not feeling yeah like needing to plant seeds so you have a better established garden or a better established environment or place for yourself where you feel more um, trusting in yourself and what you can do with your earthly matters. But there's some kind of need to commit yourself here to something, something moving forward. Um, seeds are being planted right now. A new cycle is beginning for whoever this is resonating for right now. And it's important to know what we're planting, where that's coming from, what origin is the seeds coming from, where are they coming from, where is the root of the seeds being planted right now. Judgment's always a big card on like choosing um, like, what, like what kind of energy we're going to live from, forgive from, love from, where we're making our choices from. Are we making them from a, a passionate, loving place? Are we making them from a, a more like a, an aggressive or... Are we, how are we, how are we planting? What, what choices are we making and where are we making them from? There's absolutely nothing wrong with the queen of wands, but there is a lot of, um, it's, it can be a very uh, fiery energy. It can be very, um, with all fire, it can be impulsive. It can be, um, really it needs, it needs brought in. If that makes sense. That's what this chariot, I'm feeling like this chariot's about. It's bringing these energies in and focusing, needing to balance out the, the energies here to move forward, to be very intentional in this new opportunity or this new beginning that's trying to happen. Um, so that's what I'm getting from that. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more cards on this. Judgment and determination. A determination here. To make a choice a big choice judgment is always a big choice on how not only you're going to judge yourself but judge others and is this coming from a loving place or a angry place or is this coming from a passionate place is this coming from a sexual place what where is this coming from um making that and then we got the lovers the choice the choice to choose love the choice to choose um and that's what's under the judgment and determination it's a choice to and this is also balance balance with the masculine and the feminine the, it's it's a complementary it's two different energies that are quite complementary of each other um this could be energies within yourself i always look at the lovers like this could be my masculine my feminine side um coming together to make something happen there's also a mirror in the center of this and it's really looking at how um the reflective nature of kind of life and our journey and other people in our, our life how that's reflecting back to us what are we seeing and what is our part in it? Judgment. What is our part in the way things are happening or the way things are moving forward um, in our lives and what's being planted? There's definitely something going to be um, getting established here. Um, a new a new chance, a new opportunity to start something, um, a new beginning in actually your earth matters. This could be work. This could be friendships. This could just be a whole new like and this could be just, it's a beginning of a new earthly energy, like the way you deal with your earthly matters. Um, interesting. Let's see. We want a victory here, though. We want a good new beginning. We want a stable new beginning. And we want it to be planted with love. We want it to be planted with good intention. And we want it to be planted with our choice, our, our free will, judgment. 
you have the free will to create and the queen of fire is a very creative energy she's in creation mode you've been in creation mode and there's just this feeling here of having two separate energies that need to come together to create something new and good for for yourself queen of air right here this is focus this is determination this is skill this is logically thinking about the steps you need to take um and it's actually right under the cherry here which is where i pulled the card it's like there is some strategic movement needed right now to move forward and you may need to strategize with like two parts of yourself here you may need to have a conversation with like your wild kind of untamed nature and then the tamed nature and the queen of air isn't like the most emotional like it's being very logical like what is the logic of what you're doing how are you handling things in a it's not complete detachment but it's looking at everything in a very logical way and taking the steps needed um, that aren't emotional it's skill it's like i this is how i'm going to win this this is how i'm going to get where i need to go this is how i'm going to start my new beginning or begin my new um my new this is a, my new cycle or my new um after the world like i've learned a lot now what have i learned and how am i going to use those skills and use those lessons to play a part in how i'm moving forward and that's why this judgment is so important right now because it's completely up to you we have free will um what you do with your energy your passion your spiritual energy and that that determination where are you going and how do you want to get there are we going to take everything we have learned all the skills we've learned and we're going to put it all together to move forward for a victory and there's that victory wreath there um and then what do we got here mars okay you could be um looking and it did come out reverse so we know mars is in um cancer right now which is an emotional energy um we got the tower so the tower is something completely shifting and changing there could be you maybe trying to avoid some changes or shifts um in what you're playing like almost trying to keep some of your seeds or some of your intentions how do i board this okay so there's a feeling here of having some intentions or some ideas some it's not even ideas it's like inspirations or feelings that you want to keep hold of you want to hold on to moving forward as you're planting seeds for the future um but there's this tower energy and it's like you could maybe be avoiding letting go of some things that need to change or are trying to change and you could be trying to control or trying to um hold on to like the same old but the tower happens for a reason and it's that mars energy coming in to d destruct and destroy things that aren't meant for your future aren't meant to be a part of your future so um yeah just think about and mars is also that um fire it is also that determination so is there a way in which you are determined to plant seeds for your future but there's still an avoidance of what needs to go or what needs to be um, dismantled or destroyed or leveled out in order to this is all your choice this is judgment this is a huge energy it feels like you're in a really pivotal time of deciding what what needs to go and what needs to come with for your new this new beginning okay so let's go ahead and get all right let's get one of these We got flexibility. Okay, so this has come out for another reading, which I'm trying to remember which reading that was. Um, and you may have that in your chart too. There's a need to not break right now as you, there is a need to be more flexible with maybe the way you're thinking, maybe the way, like there is a determination here to get through something here and get through it with all yourself on board and take all the things you've learned and put that into action. Um, but actually the chariot's not a huge active energy. It's more like just getting the energies together. Like, so there's a need right now while you're putting your energies together to move forward, to be flexible um, in like what you're kind of, uh, like not throw the baby out with the bathwater kind of energy is what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting with this card um, with your reading is don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. There's something here that if you're more flexible with here, it's 
it's going to pay off better. It's going to be, it's going to be better. Um, it isn't, it's not being rigid. It's not like breaking at the, at shift or change. If something's shifting or changing right now, um, allow that shift and change to happen. Don't try to control it. This is your choice though. This is something, um, you know, trying to happen here to create a new, um, ground to plant in or a new environment to grow in. You know, I feel like there's some new growth trying to happen, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that energetically that may be trying to shift and change within you, around you, and there's a need for flexibility right now. So I am getting that. All right, let's see here. Judgment, determination, and the lovers. The choice. Huge choice to choose love here. Maybe not anger or, um, and choose like, you know, Gemini's air, your queen of fire here, there's a, this determination to move forward, but there's this need to like reflect on like the other, if this is about a relationship or something like that. Um, it's about choosing love and maybe, um, or deciding is this love or is this like passion or heat or, you know, what is this? Like kind of really taking a deeper look at the connections um, or the connection that you've had maybe with yourself that's what i am getting but it could be with others around you or a significant other um these are general messages you guys so i um let's see we got change yeah something's trying to change here there's a change that's trying to happen here and it has to do with this queen of fire if this is you something is trying to change here there's some kind of reflection or some kind of love or some kind of judgment that needs to happen in order for some kind of change to shift to happen so that you can move forward so you can have all your like energy on board moving forward and there's a cooler calmer collective nature to the queen of what the the queen of air it's not the queen of fire the queen of fire is all about passion desire just it, it, quite impulsive the queen of air is not she's more logical more step by step um so that's what i feel like is trying to happen here so you can move forward um, and get, get to where a place where you feel more victorious and like you've made the right steps and the right moves. Um, we got prosperity. Yeah. Where, where you are being led to a prosperous and wonderful place. Um, prosperity, feeling that too, feeling that you have like everything it takes to move forward and you have everything you've learned everything you need to learn to take the right steps. It's about choosing to take the right steps now for yourself. Um, not being impulsive, accepting change, accepting reflection, and making a judgment call on like how you're going to get there. Um, what's the energy you're taking with you as you move forward? Awakening. I love that. This is the ta under the tower and in confidence. Okay, have confidence, having confidence in what's happening. Have confidence in the change. Have confidence in the choice that you may have already made if you're past this point in the reading. But if you have not made this choice, it's asking you to literally look at this fire energy and this air energy and decide what's what's kind of driving the chariot. And maybe you need both of them, but you just need them more balanced. Um, but there is some kind of change that's happened or happening right now that's leading you to a much better place. But there is something here with the tower that you may be trying to avoid. Um, starting kind of over is what it's kind of feeling like, like a starting over, um, a new beginning. There is a new beginning here trying to happen. There is something being <laughs> cleared away. Um, and it doesn't always feel good, but it doesn't always feel bad either. It just depends on what's being cleared away and how much we're trying to hold on to it or control what's happening. Um, so that you can have a, even another level of, um, of self-awareness, um, awakening is self-awareness. It's uh, consciousness. It's being conscious of like what's being, um, cleared away so and what we are being very intentional I feel intention when I hear the word like awakening I feel like that means like I'm more aware I'm more awake to what I'm my intentions are I'm more like in touch with what I'm putting into the energies I'm putting into what I'm trying to grow or where I'm trying to move it's being very intentional I'm feeling that with the queen of air here it's it's having a very strong intention to move towards something that's better and prosperous for you and builds your confidence um, I am getting that. So let's go ahead and get one of these. Mood. Be mindful of the mood right now. Uh, somebody else had this too. Libra. Libra had just had this. Um, mood. Mood is everything. And I, I believe like uh, vibes came out with it. And we have original. 
um, and on the bottom, grow. Yeah. So right now, little extra advice, be mindful of the mood. Be mindful of your mood. Be mindful of your, um, be mindful of the moon too. The moon phase is going on right now. I always feel like the moon influences our mood a lot and it shifts like every two days. So, um, mood, be Try to stay positive. Try to, try to stay optimistic. Try to stay in a good, higher vibrational mood as you, um, and, and like a, like stability because like there's this chariot in the middle that's trying to be centered and focused. There's a focus needed right now to focus on the steps you're taking, every step and having intention and in moving forward. But be mindful of your moods right now. Your mood, your vibe, um, what you're surrounding the moods around you, the moods within you, just be mindful of the mood, okay? Mood. Um, there's a lot to that, especially with the moon coming into a full moon in Aries, um, which happens to be in Cancer right now. I am feeling that. Let's get one of these. Mind. And it's right with this mood card. So, you know, the mood, like, oh, this was kind of like, well, kind of like Libra's. Um, it was like, be mindful of how your mind's working because it affects your mood, okay? So there's something here where, like, you need to really be mindful of where... And I love this chariot energy right in the center with this mind because there's, a like, you can see she's got her head down and she's kind of in... She's kind of centering and focusing her mind as she moves forward. And that's what the chariot's about. It's about getting that mind all together, all on board, kind of the, the wild, unknown parts of our mind with the very known, tamed parts of our mind, the conscious and the unconscious coming together and focusing and it does determine um, our mood it determines on how we move through um, the things we're going through um, and then of course you got the queen of air which is all about the mind and the st strategy and the steps forward um, so yeah I love that mind with it's going really nicely with this chariot um, it just feels like the same kind of energy and you can see the uh, hawk at the top of the mind there. And this is seeing the, a bigger perspective, a higher, um, and a focus, you know, there's a, a strong focus needed right now on paying attention to your mind where, and where your energy, what, where your energy is coming from. And maybe some self-reflection here, definitely with the lovers and having a lot of, um, being adaptable, flexible to change right now. Like there's some changes happening, maybe within your own mind to, um, bring you into more of a strong focus forward, a focus forward. That's another thing about the chariot. It's all about focusing forward. It's not focusing back. It's about that vision forward, the focus forward, how you're going from here to there. That is what I'm getting for that. So let's see. I think I've got, okay, let's see if we can get some advice here. From, let's see what else we can get for you guys. loss, lack, fear, victimization. Um, as we were talking about moving forward and um, moving forward and being future focused and not looking back and accepting change, there may be a feeling here that you need to think about um, or that could be maybe causing some, um, maybe some, uh, like th there's a need to be move past this and go through this. If you have any fears or you have a feeling of being victimized or you're feeling like um, I'm not enough or I'm never enough or maybe it's other people in your life. There's just a feeling of not not having enough. It, it can feel very... I'm actually going to read this. Loss, lack, fear, victimization. Um, where is my... Oh, let's see, guys. I actually haven't read a lot of these cards through these readings, but um, there is something here trying to change. And this could be what's trying to change is maybe an attitude, a mood, a mindset. I am getting that with the mind card and the... Um, mood and the chariot it's there's some part here i'm just gonna go here 34 okay the message of this card is clear no matter what kind of loss and that could be this tower energy that you're trying to avoid like there's something that needs to go so you can have a new fresh beginning and have like a, a new higher like consciousness awakening is what it says so maybe waking up to hey this needs to go so i can actually plant new new seeds and grow something new in my life um 
it says, the message of this card is clear. No matter what kind of loss you've experienced in the past, it is absolutely necessary to shift your focus now and to redefine your power. You are no longer the victim of a threatening world, frightened and unable to direct your own de destiny. I love that because this is, Cherry is about directing your destiny and taking yourself into the future, a prosperous future, having prosperity. But if there's something in the mind and the mood that's causing the mood and this, this loss, this lack, maybe it's hard to let go of that. But it's leading to this new beginning, a new earthly beginning. And that would be to redefine your power. Um, you are able to direct your own destiny. So there might be a deep, deep feeling here of, no, I can't control this or I can't. So maybe, you know, but there is a feeling here of needing to recognize like your power in things, your, your um, energy in things changes things. You can change things. Um, since your conscious creates your reality, it says, in fact, since your consciousness creates your reality, this assumption only keeps your energy stuck. The owl encourages you to leave your victim mentality behind and to see the truth of your eternal courage and power. Eternal courage and power. I love that. Um, I do love that. It's just, it feels very empowering. It feels like spirits coming in saying, empower yourself. Don't disempower yourself right now. You have a lot of control, a lot of will, a lot of choice, a judgment. Um, a lot of, a lot to change things. You have also fire, passion, spirit to change things, to make change happen in your life, to make choices that are reflective and, um, supportive of two energies coming together and being very like supportive of each other and helping you move forward. Um, when loss comes up in your life, let yourself grieve, but don't define yourself by that experience. Be willing to take charge and set your sights on real solutions and new directions. That is also the queen of air, real solutions. She is logical. She comes up with real solutions. Um, you know, there's not a lot of emotion attached to it. It's not letting the emotions get the best of you. It's letting, hey, this is what I need to change or this is what needs to happen in my life to move forward. And that's the direction I'm going. And maybe part of that is letting go of this feeling that you can't. You don't have control over that because, you know, every you're at everybody else's, um, you know, you, you're at everybody else's like mercy or will when you have so much power in determining where you go, how you how you think, what your mood is, what you let go, what you don't let go, what you hold on to, what you don't hold on to. Um, that's the message I'm getting. It says when you take action and view your life with optimism, optimism and self honoring intentions. You become the director of rather than the victim in your own life. This empowered approach may seem strange to you and you may not fully trust yourself just yet. But this card is telling you that you can no longer live in darkness, isolation and fear. It's time to let go of your old patterns of people pleasing and passive acceptance of others agendas. And it's time to take your rightful place as a powerful presence in your world. Affirmation. I let go of feelings of fear and lack. It's safe for me to stand up and make choices that empower me. Um, yeah, don't make choices that disempower you right now. Keep in mind, you have wisdom and you can make empowering choices for yourself right now. Moving forward, putting all your energy together to have this future goal, forward focus, um, and, and really being a part of the change. I am feeling that. Be a, being a part of the change in your world, in your reality. I am getting that. Let's see what you guys need to surrender. We'll get a surrender card for you guys and then that will be it. A lot of big cards in your guys' reading. This is a big... We got the Tower. We got the Chariot. We got Judgment. These are all major arcanas. That means there's a lot that's kind of out of your control, and it may feel like that right now. But where you put your energy and how you handle your mind will affect your mood and your focus. And um, it's a surrender to passion. So if there's something here, it says get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Um, so if there is stuff in your life right now really making you feel like I'm going forward, I'm driving myself forward, then just get out of the head and use that energy to move forward. Because um, something really nice is coming in here and you are a part of it and you have a lot of um, power in that. You have a lot of power in where you're going, what direction you're going and how you get there. Um, so even if you're feeling kind of, that's what this message is feeling like. If you're feeling disempowered or like things are out of your control, if it feels like that, you need to just kind of let the stuff fall that's going to fall. Stay focused on where you want to be, where you want your mind to be, where you want your mood to be, what you're passionate about, and move forward with that. You do have that control over you. Um, and that can help change a lot of things in the process, too. Um, rather than fighting it 
tooth and nail, the changes that are trying to happen within yourself and maybe outside of yourself. All right. So Sagittarius, that is your guys' message. I hope it helps somebody. And as always, I appreciate you guys. I will talk to you later and have a good day.